Hey, Christina, it's Mike. Thanks so much for taking the time to do this interview. And um, Christina, you're one of our trainers in Calgary. And uh, you came on board, I believe it was about, uh, about a year ago, right? Uh, no, it was October of 2017, 20, oh, God. Now? a year and a half ago, yeah. <laughs> okay, a year and a half. Okay, so it's been about a year and a half. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and um, I guess, uh, tell me a little bit about, um, you know, the, the reason why you joined us and, um, you know, for, for a new trainer, maybe looking at this position, um, you know, there, there may be some, some questions they may have, but what was your decision to sort of, you know, your leap of faith to jump in and, and join with us? So um, at the time I was working in a research position, it was an office job and I was only doing uh, fitness training or exercise stuff on the side and I had a contract. So it was a, a job that was going to come to an end. So I had been starting to look for what I was going to do next. And one of my skill sets is obviously um, in exercise and, and fitness. So I thought, well, I better, I better just start searching. And I came across the ad on, I think it was Craigslist or Kijiji or something like that. And I thought, well, what's the risk, right? So because I already had a full-time job, I could sort of transition into something. And there wasn't a lot of risk to take the, to take the next step and start with in-home trainer. So that was my sort of processes. I can do it on the, on the side and it will, you know, if it doesn't work out, I'm okay, you know, cause it's not, there's a lot of businesses you can start where it's, uh, it's a lot of risk to start. And this felt like, it, you know, there's a little bit of risk, I suppose, but it's sure. uh, the, the benefits far outweigh the, the risks. Right. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So yeah, so perfectly. Yeah. So I remember you did have that full-time job and we yeah. had several conversations throughout our relationship here. And uh, now eventually, I think um, if I'm not mistaken, you've left that full-time job completely and now you're just focusing on your in-home training business. And I remember we went through that transition. Um, the transition was pretty quick too. Like it, it ramped up. From, I was so busy with with personal training that there is no way I could keep up with my full-time job that I actually asked my boss, my full-time job, can I go part-time? Because eventually I'm transitioning into this, you know, into this business full-time and I, I really need to put more priority into the personal training business. And then it just kind of, you know, awesome, <laughs> the awesome, domino yeah. effect, it happened pretty quick. Yeah. Right so I'm definitely full-time now. I finished my other job in, um, it would have been November. Right. So that was just, a, just uh, 20, I guess a year into our relationship. I remember you were struggling because you had your full-time job and then you were doing amazingly well with your personal training and you were juggling both ends <laughs> and then something had to give. So you're like, you know, this is more lucrative. I'm going to just stick with my in-home training business. Yeah. And uh, now we're at the point where you're bringing on your own subcontractor, which is, yeah. is, is well. so exciting. <laughs> Some more time. Yeah. So yeah. that's awesome. Um, I'm so happy for you and you've been one of our, um, you know, we have many licensees, but you're one of our, our hardest working ones as well. So um, I guess what things um, would you recommend to someone who is looking to join our team? Um, maybe if you can give them a little insight or um, guidance, if they, you know, maybe they may have questions for you down the road, but um, yeah, if you could help someone, you know, what, what are the benefits, I guess, of working with us? I think one of the benefits, like first off is that you make your own schedule. So um, you can start off the way I did where it's, you know, more of a gradual process and you can build things around what your current work schedule is like. So I think, you know, with any personal training, it's going to take time to build up your clientele. So like, first off, you know, it, it's a good idea to maybe try and um, keep a, at least a part-time job and sort of build around that and, and then slowly sort of transition in. I think that really benefited me. Um, what else? Talking to another trainer, like when I started off, I, I definitely reached out to um, one of the other licensees in Calgary and had a good chat with him before I got going, just to um, sort of feel more comfortable about the ins and outs. And then of course you were really approachable. So I, I, I reached out and asked you a lot of questions at the beginning as well. Um, Good. I think that's right. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then if you could just uh, tell me and then tell our, our viewers, how many clients do you have right now? Or how many hours a week are you training? Cause I, I we hit that threshold where you were doing, I believe it was you know, 25, 30 hours a week. Right. 
Yeah, if, you know, without, you know, client holidays and, um, you know, cancellations, I'm at about 40 hours now, but because of holidays and stuff, it usually sort of <laughs> levels out around, uh, yeah, 25 or 30 hours. Awesome. So when it, on the weeks where everybody's around, it's pretty crazy right now, which is why I'm uh, bringing on a subcontractor. So. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. And um, I guess in closing, um, is there a question that I maybe didn't ask you or if, um, you know, someone's looking to join our team, what, what advice could you give them? Um, my biggest advice would be just to, you know, go for it and put in the time because you put in a lot of hours at first to sort of build up your business, but it, it has such potential to grow and build into something, you know, bigger and, um, but you have to put in a lot of work at first. So you have to be willing to sort of dive in and put in a lot of hours, but uh, the, the hard work will pay off, you know, if you, if you, you know, devote yourself to, um, you know, spreading the word and reaching out to people and following up with leads, you're, you're, you're going to do well. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And, you, <laughs> you, yeah. and you've been amazing. Well, so you're one of those trainers now with between 30 and 40 hours a week, which is amazing. It's what we, we, we guide and, and, and mentor our trainers to, to always get to that point. Um, and now you're at the point where we're actually looking to free up some time because you want to enjoy some time. You're making some money, but you also want to, you want to enjoy your time now a little bit as well. Yeah. So we're going to actually start bringing on people to help you um, navigate and run through that business. So awesome. Thanks so much, Christina, for, for taking the time. I know you've always been a very approachable and, and accommodating and um, if any trainers ever want to talk to you, I know you're always uh, willing to. Yeah. Give, uh, a hand Definitely. Off. Okay. Thanks You're so welcome. much. And uh, I really appreciate you taking the time. No problem. Bye. Bye.